I'm Mark Southman. I'm a professor of physics in the physics department. Trying to develop a whole new generation of computers that can solve some problems that you cannot solve with today's computers. If you think about a classical computer, all the information is stored inside as digital bits, zeros and ones. And the classical bit can be zero or one. What's special about the quantum bit is it can be zero and one at the same time. And that means that one can store more information in quantum bits than you can in classical bits. So we currently are trying to push the envelope on how much computation we can do with a quantum computer. Uh, we currently have uh, more than 100 quantum bits, as you can see on that picture there. And that's actually the largest number of quantum bits that any lab in the world has been able to demonstrate to date. This innovation will allow us to simplify our very complicated optical setups, the way we create light patterns that trap our atomic quantum bits today involves a very complicated arrangement of lenses and mirrors and uh, electric devices. So the innovation is a much simpler way of creating these arrays of atomic quantum bits. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we, uh, I, besides being a professor of physics in the department here, I also work with a startup company called Quanta that's trying to commercialize this technology and we uh, hope to be making available atomic quantum computers in the next couple of years, so stay tuned.